Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. We recently had the opportunity to interview Judy Campisi, who is a professor at the Buck Institute and is a pioneer in the study of senescent cells. In her earlier study, she discovered senescence associated secretory phenotype or SASP. As an introduction to our interview series, we will look at one of her recent papers that describes a novel marker for senescent cells. Here is the paper. CDKN1A transcript 2 is a marker of aging and cellular senescence. And the main author is Professor Campisi. Why do we care about this? Senescent cells are cells that have entered cell cycle arrest. It has been shown in mouse models that removing them can have a beneficial effect on many of the diseases of aging and increase health span of the animals. So we want to be able to detect these cells. However, this is not easy as there is no senescent specific markers. One of the classic ways is to look for SA beta gal. Another is to look for P21. P21 is a protein which is associated with cell cycle arrest and with driving cells to senescence. It is therefore a marker for senescence though it can also be expressed elsewhere and so is not perfect. There are two places in the genome which code for P21, which are called transcription variant one and two. What the authors found was that variant two, which has not been much studied so far, is a better marker for senescence and aging than variant one and P21. They looked at expression of messenger RNA from the two variants. The first metric they looked at was expression changes with age. And we see that variant two increases more, showing a closer association with age. They looked at the change in expression of the two factors over the period of a day and saw that variant two was much more stable over time than variant one. As we can see from these graphs with snapshots taken throughout the day, this means that variant two would provide a better marker without concerns for the time of day for when the measurement was taken. They next gave the mice doxorubicin, a genotoxin known to induce cell senescence and measured the level of expression of the variant six weeks later in different tissues. The variant one increased by three times, whereas the variant two increased 25 times, showing a better response to the senescent cells. And finally, they gave the mice ABT263, a powerful senolytic to remove senescent cells, and again saw that variant two was more reactive to the changes than the first variant. So what the authors have shown is that variant two is a new, more sensitive marker for senescence than either variant one or total P21, and provided a better marker for senescent cells. 